fighting is a lot like fucking. Now, I know people have said that before, but I don't know, I believe there's some truth to it. Now, when you're young and just starting out, it's it's sloppy. It, it is. You're you're basically just running around naked with your parts touching. It's it's gross. But as you get older and start to figure out what works and what doesn't, um, it just sort of comes together. You start to read people, then you start to love them, and then you start showing them the business, and then, and then you really start fucking. Boxing, cage fighting, mixed martial arts, that hugging and dick punching shit. I mean, it's it's porn. It's it's okay for a quick thrill, I guess. But a pro wrestling match, like a really good match, there's a fucking love story right there. I mean, there's real passion to it. I mean, that's why I love living here. It's a it's a town that appreciates all aspects of the show. You got the history, the drama, not to mention the characters. Oh, the characters. He's at the bar. How's he doing? He's double fisting two jars of vodka. I got this. You mind if I borrow another one of this? Jarvis Clay. <laughs> Sweet fucking Lou. What are you doing here? I thought you and Ronnie Balls might have vanished after that whole TWF shit story. Now, our, uh, our exit from that organization was unfortunate, but we're moving on. We're moving on to things a little bit more uh, intimate. <laughs> well, whatever the fuck that means, you can count me out. Come on, man. I had no idea you were here. I saw you from across the room and I wanted to say hi. You sound like a fucking asshole right now. I'm not wrestling anymore. I can't wrestle anymore. I need this shit. Well, you know why they call him Claymore, right? Because the guy explodes like a landmine if you push him hard enough. I mean, he's got what you would call an anger problem. And he's also kind of a drunk. Actually, this one time he was all ready to leave the Tracy Wrestling Federation and join one of the big national leagues. And uh, he got he got so hammered on like 16 jars of vodka that he, he tore his opponent a new asshole. Literally, he got like one finger in there and he just ripped him a whole new anus. <laughs> Holy shit. But I hear he's teaching like middle school gym now, so he's all right. So... Please, leave me the fuck alone. All right. Well, I'll see you around, Jarvis. Hey, Claymore. Yo, can I get six more of these? Wake up, son. Hey! You've got an early flight to Payne City International Airport. This class. Todd? Uh, Todd's <laughs> what you call something special. I'm gonna grind your bones into dust. I'm gonna take 
that ground up bone dust. I'm gonna put it in a little bag. I'm gonna take that bag, put in some piping hot water. I'm gonna make some bone tea. And then I'm gonna splash that into your face because tea is with chumps. And you, Brosef, are a chump. Chump here. He's a nice enough kid from around the neighborhood. Strong as hell, too, but he just likes to get a little too into the moment. <laughs> He's the main event. He's the only dude on the fucking roster. <laughs> and here's our second dude. How are you feeling, champion? I feel like a turd took a shit in my mouth. Well, hang on to that shitty mouth of yours, because here's your new wrestling canvas. What in all fuck? Yes, I, I know what it looks like, but trust me, it's hardcore. It's like backyard wrestling, but inside with lamps and couches and shit. It's what people want. It's a rain cover for metal pipes. And you want me to throw myself around it. Fuck you. My head hurts. I'm fucking leaving. Come on, man. You remember what it was like, don't you? Wrestling ain't fake, but it sure as hell guided. There is always a plan. And tonight we've got... Something special planned. There's gonna be girls here. Holy fuck, holy fuck, holy fuck, what am I doing here? Man, you are doing what you love, Claymore. What you were made to do. Those people out there, they came to see you. You remember that feeling, don't you? The crowd coming alive, the electricity just buzzing through the air, that uncertainty that what they're witnessing might in fact not even be legal, we have no idea. Those people out there, they know this is a fucking pony show. They know that you guys aren't actually mad at each other, but that power, that raw display of power, that feeling down in your gut of guts, the deep down gut, the deepest gut, they can feel it and they love it. So are you gonna go out there and give them Jarvis or is Claymore gonna make an appearance? <coughs> Get the fuck out of my way. So, who the fuck am I fighting? That got so out of hand. Yeah. You want to watch it again? Okay, I yeah. do. Oh my god, that fucking rules.
oddly enough, fucking a person is also a hell of a lot like fighting them. You can go from having the time of your life to embarrassing agony in seconds. And sometimes that's all it takes. 39 seconds. You get all types of reactions. Shame. Embarrassment. Maybe it's just something you'd like to forget. Then you get the perverts. The ones who really get off on the misery. The ones that really let it soak all over them. I think you can see where I'm going with this.